It's been fun. It's I I mean everyone says it's crazy, but I didn't really realize just how crazy it was until I got here. I I honestly woke up, looked out the window this morning, and there's just lines and lines and lines, and it's like I'm blown away. I mean it's it's awesome, like it's so great, but it's 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 overwhelming. <laughs> Um, this season, I think Davina separates herself from her coven. She doesn't want any part of it. She kind of, uh, she's a witch and she knows that, that nothing's going to change that, but she also doesn't want to go by their, um, their orders and their laws and, um, she, she knows in her heart, like, what's good and what's bad and she's, I think she's really following herself and, um, based off of last season, she was the pawn in everyone's game and, she was thrown around and now she's really taken charge for herself and she's um, she's a lot stronger. She's grown up a lot in the past three months and she's really kind of taking charge on her own life now. Can you talk a little bit about Josh and Yeah. Josh is her best friend, and um, I love their relationship too. It's it's nice. I think Josh and Cam are the only people that Davina trusts at this point, and so having having Josh for Davina, it's like he's like she now wants to protect the, the people she cares about because everyone that she loves is gone. You know, like all the the people that she's loved, she's lost, and she's not ready to lose anyone else. She's obviously a very powerful witch. Yes. A lot of that. Are we going to see her explore more of that power? You're definitely going to see her explore her power. And um, like I was saying, like this season, she's grown up so much and she's kind of taking on, she has her own revenge plans uh, with Michael now on the White Oak Stake. And uh, she's kind of, she's in charge this year. So it's exciting. <laughs> she's not overestimating her power when it comes to bringing Michael back. Because you've seen how much of an adversary and he's very, he likes to be very um, manipulating and, and she is very cautious with how she goes about it and I think that she's, I mean she's made a lot of rash decisions based off of what people are telling her and now I think she's really slowing down and planning everything out because she wants everything to go correctly. Cammy and Davina, I think the best way to describe what's going on as far as I know so far this season, Cammy and Davina are both, Cammy's taking kind of trying to separate herself from the supernatural world. Davina is as well in her own way. She's going back to school, she's doing her own thing, but then at the same time, she's practicing, she has her secret, which is Michael, nobody else knows about. So that's kind of the only, like all of her, um, her magic, she's practicing in secret. So she and Cammy, I think, are right now both focusing on themselves as far as each other know. But they, they are still friends and they still talk. Do you think she trusts that my daughter is going to kind of bend to her? She's kind of controlling Yeah, she absolutely does not trust him. And I think um, that's the, the, the fact she has, um, she has, because she doesn't trust him, she doesn't trust anybody anymore, she's putting her, um, She's cast the spell so that he's under her control and that he can't do anything without her saying so. And I think her doing that was a big, you know, a big move. It's just like everyone else kind of thought that she was going to bring him back. And it was not a good move because everyone knows how dangerous Michael is, but she at the same time knew it as well. So she brought him back knowing that she needed a leash. <laughs> oh, I was just curious. Why is she so fixated on destroying the In general, she wants Klaus gone. You know, like in in, in reality, she knows that Michael. I mean, she doesn't really want the whole vampire race gone because that means Josh is gone. That means Marcel's gone. Everyone she loves, she doesn't want them hurt. So that's kind of like her main mission is to destroy Klaus. Klaus has killed the people that she cares about, like Tim, and um, and she's she's ready to do whatever it takes to to get rid of him. She, a new boy comes to town named Caleb, and she becomes quite smitten with him. So that'll that'll tease a little bit of that because it happens. <laughs> yes. Now the new characters coming this season are fantastic. You're gonna really enjoy them. I hope.
Oh, completely. Yeah, it'll be, it'll, uh, just in general, the new characters have great, uh, cast really great storylines for everybody. So I think they're going to be fun. I was in an attic, and then when I got out, it was kind of mostly Josh. Yeah. I interact a lot with um, Sebastian this or Michael this season, and he's one of the most brilliant actors, and he's so much fun. So I'm really excited to have a lot of um, scenes with him. You know what? I think <laughs> I think she'll be happy for him, and. Uh, I think if anything, she'll encourage him. Just because she's a good, she's a good friend. She's his best friend, and I, 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 could, I think that's how the relationship is. Just like I think he'd do the same for her. <laughs> we actually do that quite a bit, um, and a lot of it too. Like for example. Uh, Joseph, he's he's British, right? And he uh, there's a lot of lines sometimes that don't quite make as much sense. I guess they're they're not as natural as if he were to actually say them. So he changed. So like they're changed in that way. And then sometimes the scene doesn't always like. We work with the writers a lot, but I mean the writers are so brilliant that everything normally just flows completely naturally. There's no need to do anything. But they're really really easy to work with. And, um, I our writers are brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs>